Alright boys, Monday November the 14th, 951. These old bucks are after these does this morning, but I'm not deer hunting. I'm squirrel hunting. I'm going to try this CCI VNT Elmo out. Sort of heavy walking here. I got a lot of gear with me. Got some binoculars today. We may try a long range shot with this VNT. I want to see how it's doing on these squirrels. This may be a better higher wind round versus that VMAX, you know, when you get back there around them guts. In case you make a boo-boo. We'll be in here a while today. He'd like to kill 10, but I might not. Okay, we're in position here. We've got two fox squirrels. I've done seen them playing up above this old walnut tree here. And I've seen deer running all over that hill yonder. I believe there's an old buck in here chasing does. That's, I heard the fox squirrel and the deer. I got sort of mixed up. I've seen them deer go across that horizon as soon as I turned this camera on. I want to see something like you see that fox in front of that coon down. That's a three legged coon. Look at that. Three legged coon out after that fox. They squirrels all in here. Those dogs come back here and shook them up a little. Them fox squirrels, they won't leave. That fox lets that dog get close to him, boy. That fox, he was running in circles down here. He tried to trip that dog up, but it didn't work. Boy, that's a good dog right there. She's three-legged. She can run about 28 miles an hour, boys. I done clocked her with a Sabbath side, and I hope she takes that. I hope that fox goes way on back in yonder. All right, boys, I shot a fox squirrel up here, and let me tell you what, uh, you're talking about a good shot now. I'm telling you, yeah, that old head up to a fork way up in there. I gotta try to get a laser up in there to see the squirrel. And I can also tell you this, I heard that bullet wear that head out. I don't believe I could hit this squirrel anywhere but the head. But now you talking about impact, boys. I could hear it. Definitely a difference. Let me see if I can get a laser up in there and get an estimation on this thing here. Okay. Best I can tell that squirrel, I got down here on the bottom of the tree. I'm going to guesstimate that was right at 80 yards. 79, 80 yards, boys, okay? And I heard some real impact on that bullet. And that fox squirrel comes straight down. CCIVNT. First shot's a kill. But there's some more squirrels in here. I hear them a cutting up in there. I seen a gray squirrel for that old three legged coon now come through here after that fox. I've seen another fox squirrel up here, but I'm not going to move. I'm going to stay here a little while. And that's 10 power on the scope with no scope down in there. I am shooting up here a little bit, okay? I'm going to estimate probably 30 degrees, maybe 25 elevation wide, okay? I held right over that head. I had a cigarette burning here trying to judge this wind. I don't think it was bothering that shot too bad there. You may see that gray squirrel flopping on that walnut tree on the bow. I plugged him. I plugged him. Now he ain't too far. Let me put a laser on that because I want to look at the damage it's doing to him. I say I've come in on his head a little low, okay, because I didn't hold too high on his head. He's a little close, not real close. Okay, that gray squirrel, that's 36 or 37 yards, okay? One of the two there. He's up there. I had to wait for him to clear them cedars and get in there closer to that trunk. We got another one right here. You may see him in the camera up there. We got rain coming here, my boys. See, you might see this fox squirrel up there. He's quite a ways. I ain't lasered him, okay? I'm gonna try to kill him. I'm gonna have to laser him after the fact. There's two of them up there, but one of them is over there across the fence on the other property. He's on that tree right in there. He's up there away, you boys. All right, there's that gray squirrel I shot. I believe I caught him off of it. About 37 yards. Oh, that old bully wore that head out. That's where he comes out, okay? I've got two fox squirrels up here. i got to move up the hill here. I ain't picked up that first fox squirrel I shot yet. There's two more up there. There's that first squirrel I shot. That whole fox squirrel was out there, but with that old bullet cutting up, too. A lot of impact on that shot right there. I could hear it. Right, we're going to try it here a while. Them two fox squirrels, they went up a hill and they just went in holes. 
I've seen another gray squirrel, and I don't know what happened to him, but I believe he went in the hole too, but he eat a long time. Okay, I'm 70 yards from that walnut tree yonder, boys, according to my laser, okay, and I'm in this field. And I may try to lay down here a little while. I've seen two squirrels go away from that tree. Me be that far away from that tree, and they was up on the hill quite a way. The fox squirrel and the gray squirrel. Alright, I've moved a little bit here. That walnut tree now is 55 yards away. You might see that old fox squirrel sitting on that lower limb yonder. See him right there, and I've got another one. Up over here in this cedar. I'm gonna try that squirrel right there. If I can get a good clean shot on that. I got a little bush out of my way. Yeah, but what's that box squirrel? Now I'm gonna tell you what I already see with this ammunition, this V and D. When that bullet hit that fox squirrel, it blowed him off that limb at 55 yards away, boys. He come backers off that limb. Impact. Now I aimed at the head, he's a little wind point out here. But not much when I shot that squirrel. I had to move a little left to get out of the way of that little thorn tree right there. Yeah, boy, that's 55 yards away, and it made both eyes bulge, okay? And you don't see that very often with VMAX. I've seen one eye bulge, but I've not seen many shots with two. You look in his mouth there, boys. I mean, I think it exploded in his head. I've heard four or five more squirrels eating here, but I can't find them. I've seen, I've seen one of them. It's still a little early, though. See that squirrel there, see that like camera, I'm gonna resume this camera, I got glare, he's sitting there, okay? He's right at 70 yards. If you look, you'll see that squirrel with a rocket gun to build. He's almost quit now. Let's see if I can see this camera, he's right there at the base of that tree. Let's see, right there. At the base of that tree right there. I'm gonna put the laser back on that. Let's see what we got here. Suppose he comes straight down. He's flopped a lot. I held right of the head. Do I a little left to right wing? 70. I'll laser. Okay. That's 75.0 on the laser, boys. See if I can see that tree yeah, right there. Put that tree right there. 75.0. Okay, we'll see what that bullet did to that squirrel right there. I'm pretty sure he's headshot. He flopped a bunch for a gray squirrel. You may hear that one barking. He's up in there too, but I ain't found him. Let's see if I can find him. He's probably a little farther than 75, up that dead tree under. That's where I seen that squirrel and he went up in a tree. And that may be where that other squirrel's at. See if you can see this squirrel here, camera. Now he's over there about the same place as that other one. He's shaking his tail over there. He's right to that thing, dead tree there. I can't I got glare in his camera. He's in there, boy. About 75 yards. We're gonna try him. Alright, boys, I finally got that squirrel right there. I didn't shoot him when I showed him in the camera a while ago. You're gonna see a root ball sticking up on the hill up there. The laser, I, I put the laser on that tree to the left of it. I had a cow coming behind me here a little bit. 92.5, okay? 92.5, that old squirrel just sat down. He rolled off that root ball, though, on this side. See it right there? That's 38x on this camera. Little wind blowing when I shot that squirrel. I forgot to say, I raised this gun up one quarter MOA. Okay, that's all I just held right on that old head. But now I might not hit him in the head, I don't know. Uh, you might see that squirrel in the camera. He's only about 75 yards shaking that tail right there, sort of to the right of that root ball, right up in there. You might see him in this camera here. This old cow down here might have him shook up a little. Uh, we on the move. But that squirrel never got a shot at him. He's went down in here. I heard another one eating a wall. He went down there with he like something. That's sort of rough down there to see from that field. I'm gonna go through here. And I gotta go up there at that root pile in that tree where I'm picking, picking two squirrels. Alright, boys. We intentionally, that squirrel right there was facing away from me, okay? But I could see his feet, you know, how it was 
sort of angle. So I aim sort of low in behind him there. And that old bully boy, she popped when she hit him. He comes straight down, but now he's probably gut shot, okay? But, you know, we're evaluating this round to see what kind of action we get with it, so. But I couldn't really see much up there. See, them cedars have me blocked. Yeah, boys, there's that squirrel. Now, this was a pretty good shot here. This was about 55 or 60 yards. I didn't laser this squirrel, okay, but there's where it went in. See in his back? Look at where his things come out. It went all the way through him long way. and come out up here, come out right there. I believe I see some copper jacket laying in there. See that right there? Now, I usually didn't shoot this squirrel in the head, okay? The bullet come out right there on the back of his head. He went in right there at the base of his tail. All right. That's the 75 yarder. I gotta get him in that root ball sticking out right there. I gotta go up here and get him. That's 92.5 when I plugged him now. Okay, boys, that's 75 yards. You see where it went in and you see where it come out. Now, to get that kind of damage using a V-Max, you have to shoot this squirrel at like 30 yards instead of 75. That v and is doing a better job. I told you he rolled off the front of that root ball. You see him laying there? Now, let's see what kind of damage he's got and where it's at. Okay, 92.5. You see the entry, all right? And there's the exit. That's more than that VMAX will do at that range right there, damage-wise. On that exit one, okay, I shot too many on new. I like this ammo. I'm going to fast some more. <coughs> All right, it's getting late. I've seen two squirrels to mow their way up in there. Way up, I believe they're going up more with some hickory trees up there. I'd like to kill one more anyway. I know they were showing them in the camera though, that's sort of thick up in there. Hard enough to see them in my eyes. Alright boys, we're out of the woods. Six total squirrels, two fox squirrels, four gray squirrels. Now one of these squirrels was intentionally not shot in the head, okay? And that round went all the way up through that thing long ways and come out behind the head, went in above the base of the tail. Longest shot, 92.5 at a gray squirrel. This is using this ammunition right here now, okay? You see that right there? And my take on this ammunition is <clears throat> when the wind is blowing, shooting longer shots, it may be a better round to use than the old VMAX bullet, okay? I can tell even by the sound on them longer shots when that bullet hits. And the reaction to these squirrels, a 55-yard fox squirrel, boys, it blowed him back off the limb when it busted that head. I've not seen that much with a VMAX, okay, at that distance. Uh, CC, I did a good job with that bullet, or whoever made it, okay? As long as you're going to shoot it, I can't promise nothing. I know my gun seems to like it. I hope you enjoyed